our favorite September favorite. What am I doing? Um, okay. Um, I'm really excited about September favorites. I don't know why. Um, yeah, it's just that time of the year. It's fall. It's October 1st today, so I don't know if this is late. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it at a certain time. What's wrong with my shirt? Anyway, what? What's happening? Anyway, so um, I thought today would be a good day to do my September favorite thing as though it is now October. And um, yeah, let me just get started. Uh, so the first thing is, where is it? Uh, the first thing is um, this candle. Why is my voice sounding like that? Uh, the first thing is this candle from Modern Modern Alchemy. Um, and it looks like this. And it, this one is called Crimson Rose. Um, and it has, it's just exactly what the name says. It smells like rose. Um, it's very vibrant. Um, I like burning this at night. It's very uh, sexy, if you know what I'm saying. Um... <laughs> And um, I love, love the container. It's just really, really gorgeous. This is just like this plummy sort of violet color. Um, and I actually got this on sale at TJ Maxx because these modern alchemy candles are extremely expensive. Um, I think this one on their website is like $50 or something. But I got it at TJ Maxx for like, I think it was like $20, $15. It actually matches my lipstick. Anyway, it's like, I think I got this for about $15 at TJ Maxx, so definitely check out your TJ Maxx or Marshalls for these candles. Um, this one smells really, really good. So that's that. Um, and next is, I think this month is mostly beauty products, um, and one book that I actually want to show you guys. Um, so, um, so the first product is something from Corez, and it's the Corez Body Butter. Um, and if you haven't, if you've never tried Corez, um, I highly recommend you just go now and try it now. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to sound pushy, but yeah, it's a really, really good body butter. Um, this one is in vanilla guava. Um, and if you're not familiar with Corez, which I'm sure most of you are, um, it's a Greek company. Um, it's mostly natural products in here. It's not organic, but, um, it's a lot of natural products in here and the body butter makes just what it says it makes your skin feel like butter. so yeah um this one is my favorite scent right now um, I actually purchased this in um a two pack so I got this one and then the original guava scent which I really love too but uh, my boyfriend likes this one better which has nothing to do with anything but I enjoy this one too um so next is something from Revlon um, and it's the Just the Inkissable Balm Stain, and this one is in Smitten, and it looks like this. Um, do a little swatchy swatch for you. This is what this swatch looks like. It's just this really pretty, um, sort of reddish, reddish pink color, um, and I love these things. Um, I don't love all of the colors, and if you saw my, um, products I hate video or something to that effect, um, there was one color that I didn't like, but I really love this color, and I've been wearing this a lot. Um, the bomb, the stain, the bomb, this, it's a bomb stain, but the stain lasts quite a long time. Um, on me it lasts about a good, I don't know, six or so hours, and even if I eat something, it's still on my lips, so. This is really good. Um, they're about $7.99, I think, in drugstores, or most drugstores, so. Definitely pick this up if you haven't tried them yet. Yes. Um, and next is something from Smashbox, um, and I've been loving this stuff this month. Um, I, ha I didn't really use it a lot during the summer because I tend to not um, just use a lot of product, product, product in general during the summer. Um, but this one is an oil-free photo finish hydrating primer thingy, um, and it does exactly what it says when I, when I put on. Why can't I talk? What the hell? When I put this on, when I put this on under my foundation, um, it just helps it to go on smoother or more smooth smoothly. Smoother? Do you know what you say? Smoother. Smoothly. What? Anyway. 
Um, this is a really good product. Um, I know there's a bunch of different ones, um, a bunch of different types of these. I know they have the luminizing um, and a few others that I can't think of what they're called, but this one is definitely a good one to start with, um, especially if you have combination oily skin like I do. So yeah. Um, next is something that I hated when I first got, um, and it's the Voluminous False Lashes Mascara. I don't know why I hated this. Um, maybe I just didn't give it a good try, but this month, oh my god, I have been in love. And I feel like I'm cheating on my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is my favorite mascara, but this is, this is starting to take its place. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with this, but this is what the brush looks like. Um, and this does such an awesome job of volumizing my lashes, just like the name says. Um, my lashes seriously look like I am wearing a strip of false lashes, which I love. And I love the packaging as well. Um, I actually got this for free, and I don't remember... Oh, I think I got this at some event. Don't remember what event, but yes. And when I first tried it, I was like, eh, I don't see what the big deal is, but I love it now. Um, and the next couple of products are from L'Oreal. Um, this first one is um, the Color Riche Balm, and this is in Plush Plum. And I can't remember if I mentioned this in another video, but it's extremely moisturizing. It's so much better than the lip butters, um, and it's just a really, really good lip balm if you're looking for something new to try. And this also has SPF 15 in it, which is amazing. Um, and next is something from Bobbi Brown. And I always love this, but um, I've just been reaching for it a little bit more, especially when I'm wearing like a nude lip or if I'm not wearing any sort of like red or dark lip. And this is the Calypso Coral Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks. Um, and it looks like this. It's just this really coral, pretty color, as you can see. Um, and I love, love the way that it's, this goes on in my skin. Um, it rubs in very, very well. This is it here. Um, and I don't really use this on my lips. Um, I just use it on the apples on my cheeks and sort of like blend it out with my fingers. Um, you can also use this with a stippling brush, but I tend to just use it with my fingers because I feel like it, um, my fingers help to like warm the product more and just help it to sort of go on smoothly. So I love that. Um, and next is, um, the L'Oreal, what am I saying? The L'Oreal, um, eyeshadow. And um, this is Midnight Sky, and it looks like this, just this really gorgeous navy color. Um, and I've been using this a lot in um, the outer corners of my eyes. I'm um, just really pretty. I can also use this as, as an eyeliner to sort of like smoke it out on my bottom lashes, but it's just a really gorgeous color, and it's very very pigmented. Looks like that. And last is two books that I wanted to show you guys that I've had for a while, but I just love to look at them every day to sort of motivate me and just make me feel better when I'm feeling kind of like low and icky. Um, and this first one is um, called It's Not How Good You Are, It's How Good You Want to Be. And it's by Paul Arden. Um, and it's just really inspirational it's really um it talks about like the fundamentals of success and you know just just little cute little illustrations and things in it too um but i've really really been liking this and then i have the companion book to this which is um whatever you think think the opposite and this is really good um i used to work in um an advertising agency and so these two books were really helpful during that time as well. Um, just really um, helpful when you're trying to come up with new ideas, creative ideas. So these two books are really good. Even if you're not in advertising, um, just, they're just good to pick up and, and just skim through. So those are my September favorites. And yeah, I'm actually going to be filming another video after this. But yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, rate, comment, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys are doing well. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.